feel like you're out of things to wear. You've already worn your clothes so many times. You have no new outfits and you're stuck. Well, if that's you, I got you because in today's video, I'm going to be showing you some very easy tips and tricks on ways to take your basic clothing and turn them into really stylish outfits. Let's go. First tip is to take a piece of small clothing and pair it with a piece of bigger, more baggy clothing. You can do this by wearing a crop top with a long skirt, or you can wear some short shorts with a baggy top. The key for fashion is to really play with the looks and don't always stay within the lines. Kind of experiment. You see celebrities and famous people do this all the time. They're always combining things that normally wouldn't go together. Tip number two is how to make a basic outfit into something that is more unique. Start off by making a really basic outfit by just wearing a fitted tank top and some fitted jeans. You can do just blue jeans and any color of tank top. Or what I like to do is just take some black jeans and a black tank top. It's really easy to take this outfit and dress it up for a more fancy occasion or dress it down for a casual everyday look. Throw on a cardigan or some kind of coat or jacket and then also add on some jewelry and some nice shoes. If you're going for a more fancy professional look, you can wear heels or you can go with some boots or for a really casual look, just go for some sneakers. Whenever I don't know what to wear, I just like to take this tip. Cami tanks can be only a few dollars each. They're very inexpensive and they can be worn all the time because you can always layer more clothing on top of it. Definitely an essential for my closet. Tip number three, if you don't have a bodysuit and you want one, you can just take a fitted shirt and tuck it into your pants. I do this a lot. I find it more comfortable than wearing a bodysuit. And the cool thing about this is fitted shirts can be a two-in-one. You can wear them tucked in like a bodysuit or you can wear them out. I would definitely say that these are a staple piece for a wardrobe, especially if you like the bodysuit look. My next tip is a really easy way to make your outfit look a little more put together and like you are trying to look nicer and that is to tuck your shirt in the front of your pants. I do this all the time because it's so easy. It lets your clothes fit you more. It's always good to have at least one piece of clothing that's fitted in your outfit. So this can be your top. A really easy way to do this is to just take the front of your shirt, pull it in, and then twist it and put the twisted part into your pants at the front. This way it stays in place better and it just makes the tucked in look more smooth and nice. Definitely do this trick if you haven't yet. Tip number five is to wear some socks that show for some layering in your outfit. Normally I just think of wearing my short socks with my sneakers that don't show because that just makes sense. But every once in a while you can switch this up by wearing socks that are longer that actually show, that are like boot cut. This is a really cute look, especially if you're just wearing leggings and a casual outfit because it adds to the comfy vibe of your outfit. Tip six is great for layering, especially if it's a little cooler. So that is to wear a shirt underneath another shirt. Take two long sleeve shirts. You can do a plain long sleeve shirt under a sweater or a flannel and then fold the end of your sleeve up so then the bottom layer shows. Again, this adds something more to the outfit so you're not just wearing a basic top. Some outfits I don't want to wear a jacket with because it doesn't really go with the look. So doing this is a really easy way to stay warmer without having to wear a jacket. Another really easy way to spice up an outfit is to change up the shoes that you're wearing. For instance, if you're just going to school and you're wearing a hoodie and some jeans, then instead of wearing your tennis shoes or sneakers that you might wear day to day, switch those for some nicer shoes. You can wear some lace up heels or combat boots or any type of booty or flats. Shoes can really change the outfit. Next up, take a fancier outfit and dress it down. This is something that most people normally wouldn't think of doing. For instance, you can wear a fancy dress or a fancier outfit with some really casual shoes like sneakers. If you want to go for a super easy grunge look, all you have to do is take a plaid shirt or dress and put a leather jacket over that and then also wear some tights, some combat boots, and maybe some black sunglasses, red lipstick. Super easy outfit. All of these clothing pieces are pretty basic that you probably have in your closet. 
last tip is pretty basic and that is to just add sunglasses to any outfit. This is also great if you want to look more put together and professional but you don't have time to do your makeup in the morning and you're just running out the door. Also a tip for this is to get some name brand knockoff sunglasses because they're a lot cheaper and they still look really nice. I have some that kind of look like the Quay sunglasses. They are black at the top and then they fade to clear at the very bottom. These are sold for over $100 but I got them at American Eagle for only $10. That was a tenth of the price which is kind of crazy. Those are all my tips. I really hope that you found something to help spice up your outfits and take the clothes that you already have and turn them into something you can wear that you maybe haven't thought of before. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Also, don't forget to follow me on my socials and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! Well, if that's you, I got you. If we're, uh, <laughs> Okay. Oh man. This is definitely a look. Thank you.